world. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Donald Trump has had an attempt on his life while at a rally in Pennsylvania. Hi there and thank you for joining me in a video that just gone viral. In this video I bring you breaking news on an attempt on Donald Trump's life where a bullet narrowly grazed his ear and was rushed off stage by secret services. The event took place at 6pm and nearly 1 in the morning at Greenwich Mean Time UK. Spectators dive for cover as bullets rung out from a rooftop close by, by two armed gunmen. Amongst all the chaos, as Secret Services protected Donald Trump and took him to the ground, he was taken with such force that he left his shoes behind. He could be heard mentioning saying he needed his shoes. Let me get my shoes. Hold that in your head, buddy. So we gotta move to the bus. Let me get my shoes. Okay, my shoes. Watch out. Well, that, the, the very latest from that uh, rally, the moment where it appears that, that shots were fired, um, certainly the Reuters news agency reporting that shots were fired at that Trump rally in Pennsylvania. We saw there, once those uh, sounds were, were heard, if indeed they were shots, that the security team surrounded Donald Trump, as you see there now, and um, escorted him to his vehicle to be driven away from that rally. So he has now left that rally in Butler in Pennsylvania after the incident in which we believe shots were fired. Guns came up to start clear, clear right, clear left. They said, get him up. So they lifted him up, and Trump said, I got to get my shoes on first. Did his shoes come off? His shoes must have, we couldn't see it underneath that, but his shoes must have come off when they dropped him down to the ground. First thing he said, we could all hear it. I have to get my shoes on first. And when he stood up, I'm looking at him forward, I see the red teardrop right here of blood, fresh red blood, just a little tear. Then when they got him up and they turned him, I could see the blood from the top of the ear to the bottom. It wasn't gushing, but it was covered. And then he put the fist bump up, stay strong, and they walked him off. Aaron, what was going through your mind? What did you think when you first heard those sounds? I thought this would do what you just said. I thought it was fireworks, 4th of July. It's been pop, pop, pop. That's what it sounded like. Now, the gentleman behind me, we were, I was one seat. He was to the right of me. He could see the sharpshooter on the, behind Trump. He said the sharpshooter shot to the left. He killed the gentleman in the water tower here. Now, when I called my husband at home, who's watching TV, he said, I thought Trump hurt his ear when he went to the ground. But he said, no, on TV they showed before Trump hit the ground, the ear was bleeding. So that sharpshooter went across, Trump turned his head, his ear must have been nipped, and it killed somebody in the stands over to the left. Could you see anyone injured besides the blood on the former president? All I saw was the gentleman from Beaver County who spoke earlier in the day. He was running for the state house representative, Elmore. I know his name. He had a white shirt on, and I saw him come from that left stands where the people were mostly shot. I think there were several. They said three medevacs left here. 
blood was down the right side of his he wasn't shot but you could see that he was next to somebody who must have been bleeding profusely because he either helped them and ran you know rubbed against them or tried to get them help or something it was covered so i knew that he was near somebody that was my first indication indication that somebody was actually shot when i saw his blood on his shirt aaron when did you realize that hey this might not be fireworks this might be something else when they got trumped down on the ground you know we were just so concerned that he wasn't hit because we couldn't it happens so fast you know it's really hard to process it you know i guess when they if you have it on the, your camera to see the exact minute you can tell but when he got up he did not look bad at all he didn't he looked very strong so then i saw that little bit when i saw that blood I thought, oh, he must have just hurt himself hopefully right. but it does appear that he was probably nicked by that bullet right. and, and aaron turned his head just in the nick of time but just and Aaron, you were so near to all of this yourself. You were right there. How how did you personally feel about your own safety? Were you scared? Uh, what was that experience? I was totally not scared for my own. None of us in that front row went down to the ground. Not a one. We wanted to only help the president. That's all we wanted to do. Either we could protect him, we could stand around him. I didn't see one person in the row hit the ground. Not one. I, I was shocking. No one was concerned about us. We were only concerned about him. Now, you're somewhere safe. You're out of there as you're starting to process this. I know we'll all be processing this over the coming days and weeks. How are you feeling now in this moment? Well, what I've heard coming out here is now they feel that there was two shooters on both sides. So they got the one on the tower on this side, but the one on the right side, they never got. So they, that's why they wanted us to leave immediately because they thought there's still a shooter out there somewhere. So there could be in these woods around Butler. So Aaron, you know, I, I've covered many Trump rallies. I don't know how many you've been to. My six, just as your I was here, I was the fourth car in the parking lot this morning at 20 to seven. So I've worked all day. You've been here all day. Yeah, you know, that, I knew you were NBC. <laughs> we're yeah, here, we're here. Look, you know, the, the, the atmosphere coming into a Trump rally, the supporters, very jovial, very celebratory. Typically, people are selling merchandise, food. Uh, what's the, what were you coming in with today and what are you leaving with tonight? Well, I was here four years ago when he was in Butler. You know, it was like 58,000 people. I tell people it was the most magical night of my life. When he came on that helicopter and circled two times, he had four rallies that night. It was just an unbelievable night. And I was anticipating to be another unbelievable night, but not this way. And I just, it, it's just very sad. I mean, it, it, all these people that came to see him and to have him hurt. If you, uh, it, 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 I, I can't even describe it, you know. It, I just feel sad. I feel sad for our country. I feel sad for everybody, you know. I mean, you don't like the guy, don't vote for him. Don't kill him. We love the guy. We're going to vote for him, you know. I mean, what 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 is up with his violence? I mean, it's just it's just terrible. I mean, I just I just wish that people that I mean, I'm glad that guy's no longer with us anymore in that tower. Uh we we can't confirm that uh there is an accomplice in um, custody. Obviously, that's no, the, the prosecutor. The prosecutor just confirmed that it, it's live. Prosecutor confirmed that. Right. There okay. Were two people. We, we do know from the uh, Butler County District Attorney that an audience member has been killed and the shooter is dead, and there is a uh, another person in a critical uh, condition that is being reported. Yes, and that person was arrested. Even though they're in critical condition, they, they still arrested him, or they, they call it arrested. Three rows back uh, from the stage, I mean the podium, and uh, shots came from my left, 50 feet from my left, I'd say uh, six or eight shots. Listen, it sounded like firecrackers. It wasn't a, a heavy, heavy weapon. It was a uh, small arms fire, and... Uh, we all hit the ground. Uh, people on the pod, on the bleachers, scattered. Uh, sadly, I'm hearing there were two civilians that were hit, and uh, I'm hearing that it was not well. So uh, I don't know their, of their condition, but it's, from what I understand, it's not good. President Trump exited the stage. Blood coming from his right ear as he was pumping his fist in the air. So uh, the pres former president's fine. And from what we've been told as well, former President Trump is fine to his rea to your, your reaction to that news overall. He is fine. He, he's President Trump. This is what he does. Uh, like, we all saw it. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in belief that he's fine. 
and overall the fact that this even happened at all. I mean, it's, it's only hate to say it's historic. It's but terrible. It this is, this but is human yeah. nature. This is what we do. I don't want to go political on this, but I believe, in my opinion, much of it comes from the left. But uh, that hatred that has developed and taken over this uh, campaign, so it's what it is. It's, it's a shame. And, and the fact that basically it just happened all of a sudden, everyone hit the ground, kind of what was going through your mind in that moment? Panic. Panic, yes, we all, we hit the dirt. And uh, I saw the uh, Pennsylvania State Police with the suspect and they guided him out appropriately. Uh, again, 60, from my, 60 feet from my left, maybe 50 feet. And uh, women were crying around me, screaming. It was, it was, it was chaotic. And so, something like this happened in a, a, what's supposed to be a peaceful event. Oh, yeah, it was definitely you, not peaceful. Your thoughts about it. I'm going to say President Trump was probably... And I'm pretty sure it's hate trying to get out. I still see the fear. Maybe two minutes into his speech. Three. And this, the shots arose then. The picture shown shows the outlay and surrounding area of Donald Trump's rally at Pennsylvania. It shows outbuildings that had two roofs, where the two armed men lay on the rooftops in wait, only 148 metres away from where Donald Trump was. The reason that they had firearms is because they were not searched and within the restriction area put in place by secret services. It is believed one person lost their life, who was an innocent bystander and spectator at the rally, with two others being injured. One of them being injured has now been arrested, and it is believed that there is another fatality of the gunman who is 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Cook. I want to bring in some pictures that we've had of um, a building that's located around 150 metres away from where Donald Trump was speaking, and um, footage that appears to show the body of a man um, with a gun, what looks like a rifle, uh, next to him. We're waiting confirmation of whether this is the location of the gunman. The Secret Service had said at the time that those shots were fired from an elevated position and that they are now treating this as an assassination attempt. We've also heard in the last few moments that the House Oversight Committee has invited the Secret Service Director to testify on July the 22nd following that Trump rally incident. This investigation now is wide ranging and moving very fast. Yeah, yeah, and I think the focus 